Tonight, the woman officers say led them on a dangerous high-speed chase through three, three counties, speaking only to 10 News. We brought you that chase live on Monday as that car drove over a lawn and then sideswiped a pickup truck. 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky is where she is being held at the Vista Jail with what she is saying about that dangerous day. Jeff. Ariel Ada Cifuentes still seems like she's in shock. Now, right now, she's in custody here at the jail behind me. But just a few hours ago, she invited me down the steps and through the front door to come talk to her. That's how Ada Cifuentes describes the week since this happened. A wild chase, speeds reaching 100 miles an hour, spanning three hours from northern Los Angeles County to outside Fallbrook. I asked her how it started. Tell us what happened. I can't say because they don't really remember that. That's how much of our conversation went. Officers say Monday morning she was driving erratically and speeding. They suspected she was intoxicated. But when I pressed her on her memory of the chase... So you don't actually remember kind of the whole, the whole morning? No, I don't think I can talk about this because I don't, I don't want to get in trouble more than I already am. Cifuentes didn't want to talk about how her actions put other people in danger or why she kept trying to escape, despite several attempts to stop her. Come on, there we go. Let's try to pit it again. Eventually, Cifuentes got pinned in on a residential street outside Fallbrook. Suspect not giving up at this time, a badly damaged car because of doors open, and yep, the female driver. Cifuentes told me she's never been in trouble like this before and hinted at some regret. If I would have known better, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I wish things were different. I don't, I don't want to be here. But when I tried again to get details... Yeah, now Sefuentes is still here because the judge raised her bail to $150,000. As for the investigation, we'll learn more as we track her case as it goes through the court system. Live in Vista, Jeff Lasky, 10 News. Okay, Jeff, thank you.